What is up everybody? I'm Van with Hang Free and today we're going to be showing you guys how to attach some AM steel bridges to your saddle. So we're going to try to cover, I guess, every way of attaching an AM steel bridge to your saddle. Um, it's basically the same deal, so a lot of it's going to be kind of me explaining it, but um, I will also be showing you. Right now we're actually just got a bunch of uh, our tree stand saddles finished up and I'm adding the bridges to them. So. Uh, this will be like a one side adjustable, but this video goes for triad bridges, one side adjustable, like fully adjustable where you can adjust pressure, um, everything like that. Let's get right into it and let's get going. Alrighty guys, so for this bridge being the one side adjustable, which should actually be available on our site again here shortly, um, the whole mess of things that went on with it, don't even, I'm not even going to get into it on in this video, but uh, these should be available soon. So it will come with two pieces. If this was a triad bridge, you would then have two continuous loops and just one main body. So first things first, you can take either piece, doesn't matter. This is gonna be how to do it properly, how to make it look like perfect and everything like that. So you wanna flip it as if you would be wearing it, lay it on your lap, open. You're then gonna take the loop fixed loop for the main piece and you're going to go from outside to inside taking the rest of that main body putting it through just like that you can cinch that tight that's going to be your left side and you're going to do the same thing with the right side just taking the right side and you're going again outside to inside and you're gonna put that on there that way. And what the outside inside does, it just keeps that actual um, girth hitch on the outside of your saddle. I'll tell you the complete truth, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with your pressure. Um, this is just how I like it to look, I guess. So once that is on there like that, then what I actually like to do, and this is gonna be for a suave edge hitch, this will be for a, a three, three Prusik, three meaning three wraps up top, three down low. Uh, it could be for a beefed up suave edge hitch and I'll cover all of that as we get into it. So this is gonna kind of teach you all of the hitches even though it's really one way to tie it. So I like to actually extend my leg loops all the way out and you're gonna be like, why are you doing this? You're attaching a bridge, but when you're attaching a lot of them at the same time, stuff like this uh, matters. So then, I'm just going to go ahead and take this, like any normal leg loops, clip it in. This is just the easiest way for me to do it. Um, I've never seen anybody do it this way, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up here, and I'm actually going to put this on upside down. So what I mean by that, belt over my head. Hold on now. Get that around and through. I'm going to put the shoulder straps over my back like a backpack. So now you're going to have the main piece on the right side and this on the left. The reason I'm doing this is so when I actually tie the bridge and make the friction hitch, the friction hitch will be at the top or at the side that you're going to be adjusting on and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, here in a second. So from there, I'm gonna take the tag end, the stopper knot of the main body, and I'm gonna lay it across the bridge up top. I'm then gonna pass that back through the loop towards myself once, and then I'm gonna go one more time through the middle of the loop, and you always wanna go over that top part of the loop. So once that's there, I then relieve any tension coming here and I pull the main body and the, the tag end of it and that's going to let the, the continuous loop on the left side, that's going to let that wrap around and you're going to start to see where you're forming your friction hitch. So I'm going to do that one more time, once, back through, that's going to be twice. And just remember, you're basically always going through the middle towards yourself. So you might have to dress it, meaning pull the loop kind of bunched together. So now you have 
four wraps. One, two, three, four. From there, if you're looking just to do a normal suave edge hitch, all you're gonna do, just instead of going through the middle again, because you've previously been going through here, you're gonna go underneath the top and the bottom, underneath toward yourself, and then back through the middle of them, right back through there. And you're again, main body and the tag end of the main body, pull that tight and it's gonna roll itself. Now you just dress it, I'm just pulling out any slack, pulling around, getting it even. And that would be a suave edge hitch right there. So you see how it's upside down now, where that's the top of it technically, how it's upside down. That's so when I actually flip this over, because this will be that way, and that'll be facing upright. But that's how you tie your normal suave edge hitch. That's gonna lock for you and kick. As you can see, that's what a suave edge hitch is known to do, is kick that end out and not have as much actual friction being applied to this main body. But as you can see, there's some excess. The excess is there because we do it differently. We like to either do a beefed up suave edge hitch, which is two wraps on the bottom. So one, two, three, four. A normal suave edge has that one. We like to do it with either two wraps on the bottom or a four wrap Prusik. So to get that, what you're gonna do, roll some slack into that Prusik. And this is very simple. Uh, it might be a little confusing at first. So you're gonna roll kind of some slack into there and you're gonna take this tag in and you're gonna go inside through just that one side. So I'm not going from the bottom because it'll undo it. As you can see, this main body's coming through there. So you wanna come from the top and go down. And then you can pull again and it rolls another wrap into there. So it doesn't roll a wrap into the top, just the bottom. So now you have your beefed up suave edge hitch. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. And I'll spread those apart so you can see. One, two. So that's a four, two or a two, four, depending on which way you're looking at it, um, suave edge hitch. So that just gives a little bit better of a bite and then it unlocks a little bit better for you. There's the bite, there's unlock. So to make a four wrap Prusik, meaning one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're just gonna do that same thing again twice. So I'm rolling some slack, taking that tag in through the top, going towards the bottom, there's three. I'm gonna do that one more time through the top. Out to the bottom, pull that tight again. There is gonna be your four wrap Prusik. We like this the best. We found it functions the best. So if you split those strands again, or not strands, but the continuous loop, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's how you get a four, four Prusik onto your bridge. But you can stop at two and do a one, two, three, four, one, two. That'll be a beefed up suave edge hitch or just a normal suave edge hitch like I showed you. But now when I flip this over and go the correct way, I'm gonna see how there's twists here. And like, what the heck? Just pull all the slack out of there. Let that kind of untwist itself. And now there's no twists. So the reason I did it upside down is because now it's upright. So if I was actually sitting in this tree stand saddle, when this gets pulled tight, those from the Prusik, I don't know what you call these, but the excess of the lines that connect into the girth hitch are on top versus underneath. And uh, it might not matter to you, but as we are selling this to you guys, we like everything to look as good as possible, function as good as possible, and overall just have a, a good looking, nice feel. So that's why we do uh, that upside down so then it's right side up, which I've thought for months, how does it tie itself upside down? And I can't figure it out. I don't always have the answers to why, but I have the answers of how to. So that will be kind of your bridge right there. Now, if you're doing a triad, 
then it would just be doing that same thing, tying the knots on both sides as you would have two continuous loops. And if you have a bridge that is uh, pressure adjustable, meaning you can move this down and it'll hold out. Since this is only one girth hitch, it won't. But I have a saddle over here to show you what I mean. When adding it, all you would do is just add an extra two wraps. That's gonna give you three total wraps. So when you move that down or up, when it gets pulled on, it holds out on that same spot on the saddle. So you can address your pressure of like where your saddle's being applied. Now, the only difference for this is you just have a bigger continuous loop and you're adding more wraps into the main body that'll come with a bigger fixed loop and you're adding more wraps. So again, it's really simple um, in terms of how to do and everything like that, but it gets confusing when there's 20 different Amsteel bridges out there and you're trying to figure out how to tie it for yours. Now, again, if it was a triad, you just have two loops. You do the same thing on both sides. And if it's a fully adjustable triad or one side adjustable, it's the same thing. Um, you're just adding extra wraps. So other than that, I can't think of any other bridge other than like our Model X or like a Whoopi bridge, which um, doesn't take any of these Prusiks. It just takes a simple splice. Um, but this is a great bridge. You can shorten it all the way down for yourself. It stays out of your way. And that's why we actually had the bungee on there. If you had like a molly clip on your left side or something like that, you can take that tag in, bring it around, hook it in there. So these bridges, again, are not available. We will have one like this that's made for one girth hitch. And then we'll have one that's fully adjustable where the loop's bigger and you can wrap around multiple times. We'll have a couple different styles. We'll have an openable one, um, one like this, fully adjustable an openable fully adjustable so that's why it's taking us a little bit longer to get these out but um well, all of it will be you'll be able to kind of customize your own bridge and uh yeah other than that guys it's super simple what i'll do is actually do another one of these i'm actually going to hang this and do it real fast for you guys outside to inside loop that on Pull that tight, outside to inside. That's girth hitch there. And I'm actually not gonna put this one on. I'm just gonna flip it upside down and do it from that angle. So over the top once, over the top twice, pull that tight, getting those wraps down. One more. And the final one there. Get it all dressed. Now, over both, over both of them, back through the middle, pull that tight, get all that junk, all that mess out of there, just pushing it around the wraps. And then again, through the top, going towards the bottom. That's two. You're gonna need two more of those. One, pulling all that tight, kind of getting it dressed after. I know it doesn't look as good as the first time, but you can always move this around and, and like I said, get, just kind of dress it, make it look how you want it to. That's the great thing about Amsteel. And there you go, there's the final wrap. Creating it again, a 4-4 four, four, Prusik, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I know I did that quick the second time, but you can either rewind, watch the second time, or go back and watch the first time where I was doing it a little bit slower. That's how you add the Amstel Bridge to your saddle. Again, I'm Van with Hang Free, and uh, thanks for watching. Let us know what you guys want to see next from us. Drop it down in that um, comment box. And uh, let us know if you want us to release these uh, tree stand saddles a little bit earlier than expected. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.